Hey everyone, Joey Kasimi here with Incompress.com and this is another super quick tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fight back against those pesky little spam bots. <laughs> okay, yes, I said spam bots, not spammers. There's a difference between the two. Spammers are those that email you like 20 gazillion times per day with BS offers, okay, that you don't want. All right, and spam bots are those that actually opt in to your list. And for whatever reason, God only knows why they opt in. Okay, and they're called spam bots. And what they do is they just go in there and find these, like, you know, these opt in pages like this, like the one on my blog, and they opt in. All right, and that stuff is very, very bad. Believe it or not, to you new email marketers out there, there is such a thing as a spam bots, and, you know, and your list being full of junk mail okay and that hurts you that hurts your email deliverability rate that hurts your ratings with your email management service i mean it's just i mean all in all it's just really bad 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 stuff okay so i'm gonna show you how to go ahead and fight that today and how to how to find them and block them for good okay so I'm gonna go back into my uh, my Aweber here, okay? Because I've been getting every now and then I get everybody gets them, guys, okay? Every now and then I get these pesky little spam bots, and as you can see, I only have ten here. I've been fighting them all week, and I've been waiting to show you to to make this video to really show you how I'm gonna do it, okay? So I'm gonna do it today, get it out the way, and then be rid of these guys, okay? <laughs> Anyways. Right here, you're going to see a list of, of these spam bots, okay? And the way you know is that, you know, the way you start noticing is that you'll see these weird little names, as if you're collecting names, and then these weird little emails, okay? Now, there's those people that opt in just to see what's on the other side, and they opt in with bogus emails. And then there's these spam bots, and you could usually tell the difference because you see here there's not like a gmail.com or aol.com or anything, it's just real bogus, okay? Now you may see here that it says confirmation. Well, the reason for that is is because I practice the double opt-in model. Everyone who opts in to my list, they have to confirm. It's the only way I can know that, you, that they're a real person and that they want to receive my stuff and my emails. Okay, I've been doing this for the last year or so, and it's been the best thing ever. Okay, I'm getting a, a like probably about 50% less leads, but guess what? The leads that I'm getting are highly responsive. They're more, they're a hundred times more qualified, and, and they're a higher quality lead. Okay, they're gonna be opening up my emails, they're gonna be reading them, they're gonna be clicking on links. So all in all, it's just the best thing ever. Okay, and I know a lot of people at the beginning, and I've done this for many years, especially at the beginning. They do the single opt-in because they don't. They want to get build a, you know, a list super fast, as big as possible, and as fast as possible. Let me tell you, it, it doesn't work. Like the bigger the list is, it doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna make more money. Okay, it doesn't. All right, this right here. If I were to have a single opt-in, then all these people would be active, or not people. These emails would be active. And guess what? Every time you blast an email out. If you have 20,000 emails, okay, and let's say 10,000 of them are bogus spam bots, you are going to be paying for each and every single one of those, okay? And guess what? About 90% of those are going to come back as bounces, and that will hurt you, and you with your ratings with your email service providers, and they will go in there and hack you to death. Okay, so I mean, it's it's just best to practice good email uh, marketing. All right, if you're not doing a double opt-in, just go ahead and do it. It'll save you a lot of headache uh, later. Anyways, going off topic here. All right, the reason I'm seeing those you're seeing the confirmation is because they have to. But however, I'm still noticing an increase in opt-ins. What was like 20, 30, 40 a day, now it's like 60, 70 a day, or something like that, right? And I noticed that I'm looking in here. Oh my God, look at this. So the way to find out that these are spam bots, one of them is to all these little quirky letters. Two is just actually click on there. Okay, click on there and look at the IP. You see here, right here, where it says add IP. All right, let me go ahead and uh, copy that because I'm going to need it later to show you another trick to actually block them. See, this is the site that they're blocking on or my page, the 21 day uh, challenge. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pick on another one here, just random here. Okay, and right down here, look at this, the same IP address. Okay, 
Different email, different weird bogus email, same IP address. Look at this, another page. I mean, this is just dirty emails, okay? If you notice here, look, look, look at the country. Germany, up here, let me see if it's up here again. Germany, okay? The longitude and latitude, 51.9. Let me see this one, uh, 51.9. Let's go ahead and pick another one here. Uh, let's go ahead and pick up uh, this one here. Let's go ahead and open that one up to see what the IP address is. And look at right down here, the same IP address. So obviously that's a sign, a major sign and a red flag that that's a spam bot, okay? So now that I, I, I spotted them, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste that into a folder. I'm going to contact um a weber the the support and tell them listen i want everyone with this ip blocked from the my uh the a weber thing and and banned and delete every one of them okay you want them to delete it because you're going to be paying for these emails especially if you're not doing the double opt-in model okay and you're not practicing the double opt-in model you're doing all single opt-ins you're gonna be paying up the yin yang with this okay so um there you have it that's how you do it you find and figure out the spot and the spammers contact a weber help desk and support and tell them you want to get rid of those okay and block it there's another way to block it too okay now what you need to do is you need to take this ip address okay and take it back into your uh, bluehost c panel your control panel uh, now you may be like in hostgator or I don't know any one of those other hosting but they all should have this feature okay i'm going to show you in bluehost because that's the company that i do my hosting with anyways you go back there into your bluehost account you look for this security tab here okay yours may be in a different thing you could set these any way you want anyways you go down here you just open it and look for ip deny manager okay just go ahead and click that and the next window will come up here in just a second here and then right here this is where you're going to uh, copy and paste your that, that ip address okay so i'm just going to go ahead and paste it all right i'm going to go ahead in there and add and then you're going to see this page here and that's going to tell you that that ip address will no longer be able to access your site whatsoever when they go there they're going to see like some type of error message or error page or whatever they won't be able to go in there and guess what any other websites you have on there if you're like me that has like a gazillion opt-in pages and blogs there they're not going to be able to opt in in any one of those okay so you just go ahead and click on uh, go back here and then right down here you'll see the list of um, of ip addresses that you've blocked okay and no longer will that ip address and that person or that spam bot will be able to bother you anymore until the next one comes around okay every now and then you'll see them there and as soon as you see a, an increase in threat or in opt-ins and you did not okay you did not do anything tricky or anything special as far as more traffic goes or whatever then you know go back into your aweber check out what's going on and then go ahead and go through these steps okay so that's pretty much it that's how you fight those pes those pesky little uh <laughs> those little problem childs and those those spam bots okay so um hope you enjoyed this video uh with that said joey kissimi with another super quick tutorial piece and i love you for free i'll see you in the next vid